Hi, this is El Hay. I am a subarctic beekeeper, one of the many, somewhere north of Fairbanks, Alaska. And I am looking at a hive that made it through the winter. And I've been a little bit concerned about it because I saw some feces on the outside of the hive. And this colony has not grown large enough for me to add a second deep box on top. And so I'm wondering why, because all the other hives have. And so I've opened up the feeder and there were bees up in the feeder, which is good. So they're taking the syrup. We still don't have any sources of nectar. And I'm in the hive now and I'm looking at the frames. I don't see any fecal matter on the frames, which is great. I see eight frames of bees, all concentrated right around the middle, which was probably the location of the brood nest. I see lots of little tiny bees, so lots of babies. And I see some larger bees, which would be the older bees. That's great. Those are the foragers. Each bee has a job. I do see some bees doing a waggle dance, which is great. That means they're communicating where there's sources of pollen. I've got several different colors of bees in here. I've got some that are all black. I've got some that are have orange and yellow and black. And I have some that are black with yellow stripes. Means they're mixing with the neighbors and that's okay with me. So this hive looks okay. Maybe just a little slow going. It's a little chilly outside right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close it up. I'm gonna add a pollen patty and the pollen patty on top of the frames. And then I'm gonna add some warm syrup to the feeder so that they have that quick energy source. And then I'm gonna close this hive back up. I am going to try and figure out why this hive is growing at a shorter pace or a slower pace than the others. You just heard me slam the feeder board. Um, that was just to get, the, there were some bees on the bottom of the feeder box and I wanted to get them off so they didn't get squished onto the pollen patty. syrup from this giant container I carry with me. The bees are up in the feeder looking for the syrup, which is great. This syrup I've got for them is one-to-one -one sugar and water mixture, and I've actually got a big chaga tea bag in there. Has some trace minerals and good stuff in it. I've got some essential oils in there as well. And lo and behold, there's a gigantic hornet sniffing by the hives. That can always be a reason why the colony is not building. Although I didn't see any inside the hive and I didn't see a lot of defensive behavior that would tell me that they felt threatened. I am gonna put an entrance reducer on the front. Temperatures are chilly right now and I want them to be warm and cozy so that they can do what they need to do. Not have to worry about being cold. I'm not um, sure the reason for the um, feces on the outside of the hive it is concerning. But it might be just left over from winter, although I could have sworn I cleaned all those hives, I scrubbed them all down. Might have been left over from winter when the um, bees first got out for their first cleansing flight. So I've got that entrance reducer in that'll keep the drafts out and keep any predators out like that big wasp I saw. So this is hive number 11. We're going to keep an eye on number 11, see if things change. Things can change pretty rapidly in the bee yard. Keep an eye on them, make sure that things are going along. And if there's a problem, I can address it quickly. Better be proactive than reactive. Reactive always takes twice as much time. Well, I hope you have a great weekend. Thanks for listening. And take care of your bees. Everything's copyrighted, all rights reserved, and all that stuff. Take care. Bye-bye.